What's up guys, today I wanna to show you a new tool called Helium 10 Portals, okay? So why this tool is so cool is we can build sales pages off of Amazon and put our Amazon products on there and drive external traffic to these sales pages, okay? Why these are so cool is because Amazon loves external traffic, right? We can pixel these sales pages so we can retarget people which you can't do on Amazon, right? Uh, and also collect emails and create your own customer list, which you can't do on Amazon, right? So this is the first step of starting to build your brand off of Amazon and also have an awesome tool to get more external traffic to your Amazon page, which ultimately helps boost your ranks and get you more organic sales. All right, guys, if you're serious about your Amazon business, you're not gonna miss this one. All right, guys, before we build one of these uh, sales pages, uh, portals, they call them on Helium 10, I, and also show you how to drive external traffic to these portals uh, using Facebook ads. First guys, I wanna show you which plan you need on Helium 10 to actually have this tool, right? And so if we go uh, on my screen here, you can see platinum plan right here, a la carte plan right here, diamond plan right here, uh, also a free plan right here. So uh, if you guys need to sign up for Helium 10 and just check it out for a few days, right? This is a perfect plan for you guys. Uh, but I use the platinum plan here. I don't think diamond plan is necessary. It's not worth extra $100. Uh, in my mind, unless you get a huge, you know, Amazon business, right? But uh, mine's fairly big and I do not need this plan. So uh, we can go down here to portals. This is the tool we're gonna be using, right? And we get up to three portals. So if you drive a ton of external traffic uh, to your Amazon stores uh, and to your products, run a ton of Facebook ads to these, maybe you need the up to six portals plan, right? The diamond plan, but I have the platinum plan. I suggest just starting out here and then just upgrading if you need it. I do have a coupon code here. Uh, first month is 50% off right here. Uh, it's CAMFBA50. Uh, the link is down below if you guys need it, right? Again, hopefully you guys already have a plan, but just in case uh, you need a discount code, there it is for you, okay guys? So let's build one of these portals and do a full walkthrough, guys. All right guys, we're on the Helium 10 tools page now. Uh, so this is where all your tools are gonna be once you logged in and get all set up, right? The portals uh, tool is actually right up here to the top. I don't see it anywhere on here, uh, but portals tools right up here. So when we click this portals tool, you can see we have a dashboard here. So you can mark the dates, your marketplaces, things like that. So you can, you can track the visits, track the clicks, track the emails collected, uh, total active portals, right? We have three on this account. Uh, and you can see everything right here. Uh, I have not set up one of these portals yet. Actually, I, I have built one. I just haven't started running uh, Facebook traffic to it yet. Uh, I actually use click funnels for things like this, but uh, this is actually a lot cheaper alternative than ClickFunnels because ClickFunnels I think is like $97 per month. And if you're already using this tool, right, and using it for Amazon product research, uh, keyword research, things like that, uh, this is a lot cheaper option if you're just running traffic uh, to your Amazon goods. So uh, I'm gonna start using this, kind of see how I like it. But overall, uh, it's very simple, uh, which this is all you guys really need uh, for something for Amazon FBA. ClickFunnels is also very simple, just a little more expensive and it's another tool you have to have, right? Uh, I do love ClickFunnels and will always use ClickFunnels, but for Amazon products, this might be an even simpler solution to drive external traffic and have external landing pages off of Amazon. So once we're ready to start our portal, guys, uh, we can go down here and hit create new portals. Obviously, you got all settings, customer information, portals, templates right here. Uh, but to get one going uh, right away, create new portal is going to be the best option just to get everything set up, okay? So you can see up here, it takes you through uh, step by step everything you need here details, integrations, URLs, publishing, templates, design. Let's just go ahead and walk through it all, guys, and we can talk about each little section. All right, so first, uh, you want to name your portal, right? Uh, mine is going to be uh, hemp oil here, uh, Boulder's Finest. If you haven't seen my YouTube video about Boulder's Finest hemp oil and me trying to sell CBD oil uh, on Amazon, it's a pretty good one. I think you kind of behind the scenes of, of kind of when we tried, why it failed, things like that. Uh, but it makes for a great example for videos like this, right? So we can go down here, we see product sales page, right? So this is going to be for driving external traffic to convert on sales email opt-in page. So say you want to start building a brand, right? Uh, and have an email list you can communicate with, you know, say you want to ask for uh, reviews a little better. Uh, say you want to do some email marketing. Uh, say you want to test some other things out uh, and start doing some email campaigns, you know, to your Shopify page uh, and everything like that, right? This is your first step to start talking to your customers because on Amazon, you can't do this. It's so hard to do. They make it impossible to get all your customers' data. Uh, and information and to make it very easy to talk to them, right? You put a link in your email on Amazon, uh, they'll get rid of it, right? Uh, so you can't drive any external traffic there, right? Uh, thank you pages is 
is as simple as it sounds, right? So say you give them a coupon code, uh, it will take them to a thank you page after they submit, right? And so what we're gonna do here is do product sales page, okay? So this is actually gonna be uh, where we're gonna start to drive external traffic and see some sales and everything like that. So uh, product sales page, let's click that. Amazon product URL here, okay? So what you have to do, right, is go, just go to Amazon. You can, you can go to Amazon, you can go to your seller account, right? But uh, mine's easy to find, uh, Boulder's Finest Hemp Oil. Again, guys, uh, if you haven't seen my other video where I, I fail uh, in trying to sell hemp oil, uh, don't try to copy me here. Uh, try to heed my warning and uh, save you guys some money there. Uh, so uh, my personal opinion, don't sell hemp oil. But let's continue on here, guys. And so you see here, it pulled up all my hemp oil information from the hemp oil page, right? It's got my title, uh, which is right there, Marketplace United States, ASIN right there, uh, regular price $34.87. I do have a discount. Uh, on this page right now, that's 50% off just because I wanna get rid of these. You can enable this uh, or you can leave it off. I'm gonna leave it off for this example, right? Because in most cases you wouldn't have a 50% off coupon code, of course, right guys? And so we're gonna leave that off. Just for the example, you see my product description right here. I guess these are just my bullets, right? And so if we go back up here, we're gonna hit save and continue. All right guys, next, integrations. Why this is so cool and why you know it really helps you out with Amazon is because Say you drive Facebook traffic to your Amazon page, right? And you bring someone there. Well, you can't track them, right? You can't put them on a Facebook pixel and then give them another ad, right? So this is a step before the Amazon page where we can pixel these people, right? If you don't know what Facebook pixel is, I'll explain that here in a bit, but essentially it just tracks someone that's been to a site and then you can retarget them with another ad, right? Because in 99% of the cases, the first time someone visits your site or your Amazon page, they're not gonna buy, right? That's just not how it works. They gotta see it a couple times to trust it. And you know, maybe maybe they're at work, so they, you know, they put it off. They're like, maybe I'll buy this later, but they never do, right? So you put the ad in front of them again, and they're at home, and they're comfortable in their pajamas, uh, and they're ready to buy. So they go ahead and purchase that night, right? Because they were too busy earlier, right? So that's how powerful retargeting it is, and how important it is, because in most cases, people will not buy on their first visit. So we're gonna turn on Facebook pixel tracking here, and we just need a Facebook pixel ID, okay? So if you're not sure, uh, what this is or anything like that. I, I'm gonna walk through and, and show you guys you know, how, how to do this real quick, but uh, it does go way deeper, right? Facebook ads, um, they're easy, but it, there's a lot to it. I do have a complete tutorial uh, video on Facebook ads on my YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put that uh, somewhere around this page if you guys wanna go watch that first. Uh, but Facebook pixel tracking right here, I can go to business manager right here, and I could go to over here, business settings, Right, and business manager is really easy to set up, guys. Uh, just Google business manager Facebook and you'll be able to put your business information and everything like that uh, in there, guys. So once we're on business settings, we go down to data sources, right? And if you ha don't have a pixel already, you can easily create one, right? Uh, just by simply clicking add right here. Uh, but Boulder's finest pixel is already created uh, from a previous example I had. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and copy this uh, to clipboard here. And then we're gonna go back to portals right here and type that in right there, okay? And so you can also do this with Google Analytics, which is a great tracking method, right? If you're doing Google uh, ads, things like that. We're not gonna do this, for example, but it's just as easy as Facebook, uh, if not easier. Uh, custom tracking codes, so you have Snapchat ads or something like that. You can go ahead and put your pixel in uh, for that here, uh, but we're not gonna do that here. Uh, deep linking, okay, so this is pretty cool, guys. And so say, uh, you have someone on mobile, right? Which a lot of ads go to the mobile phone uh, on Facebook, right? So say someone's on mobile and they click your ad and it pops up in a browser on the Amazon browser on mobile, which is just disgusting, right? The, the app is built for that, that experience. But you know, just because of uh, you know Facebook being dumb and links being dumb, it, it takes them to their Safari page where their Amazon account isn't logged in and nothing's set up. It's kind of gross looking, it's hard to maneuver. So a deep linking is, this will actually allow them, you know, instead of going Safari, this will go ahead and take them over to the Amazon app, uh, which is a lot smoother. They're, they're used to it, right? All their credit card information is put in there. Uh, they're already logged in. Uh, so this helps the conversions tremendously. So make sure you guys enable deep linking. Uh, it is a must have uh, for this, okay? Save and continue, guys. Okay, guys, next we're on the URLs page. Right, so this is actually where Helium 10 is going to make you a custom URL uh, based on what your needs are to go to the Amazon store, okay? So if you've heard of um, two-step URLs, uh, you know, search, find, buy, uh, that kind of stuff, this is where this is kind of going down, okay? So they have different URLs built out for you to help you kind of manipulate 
uh, you know, the customer's movements uh, and the keywords they're using to, to search, right, uh, to help with your rankings, okay? Uh, so this is very important. The one I will use the most of right now that I already know, it would be two-step via hidden keyword, right? So what Helium 10 will do is they'll, you know, whatever keyword you give them, they'll go ahead and put it in a two-step URL so that way the customer is, you know, buying your product with that keyword to help boost your rankings so eventually you get more organic sales down the line, right? Because, then you know, if you're on page one, top of page one, organic sales are crazy high compared to, you know, bottom of page one, right? So this helps with ranking. This is why external traffic is so cool because uh, you can definitely do some things like this to help you rank. So two-step via hidden keyword is, is gonna be my favorite one right here, uh, but look around, guys. So add to cart right here. I'm probably gonna play around with this one to see how conversion rates are better, see if I notice anything on the back end, right? Uh, they got Walmart here. Two-step via field ASIN right here. So target specific keywords when sending customers to Amazon and restrict ASIN using field ASIN. So I'm guessing that's gonna put them on a keyword, but show them a bunch of ASINs on your brand so they can buy multiple things. One of my favorite ones I saw down here too is buy together, right? So say you have multiple products and they're add-ons of each other. So this is a quick and easy way to try to increase your minimum uh, order value, right guys? Uh, so that's super cool there, but let's use two-step via hidden keyword right here because I think most people are more interested in ranking up and, and getting to the top of certain keywords, right? So I know one of my favorite keywords here uh, is because we use all natural hemp ingredients uh, and we're made in the USA is natural hemp oil, okay? And so a quick way to check this, guys, to see your keywords, go check your PPC data. What are you converting on the best? What would you love to be at? Uh, you know, for any keyword, be the number one spot at, right? Another way is that you go uh, and use Helium 10's magnet tool or their cerebral tool, right? And figure out where your main competition that's most relative to you uh, is ranking at the number one spots at, because that's gonna tell you where their organic sales are most likely coming from, right? And so you gotta pick your keyword here, guys, and we're gonna hit add URL, and you can see it pops up right here. I'm gonna copy this and show this guys real quick up top here. And you can see right here that the keywords are natural hemp oil. Uh, this is just a natural separation, this percentage 20% right here. And then your ASIN is right here, okay guys? So we can go ahead and open a new page and go ahead and put that in. And you can see natural hemp oils in this field right here. Uh, and our hemp oil is the only thing showing. Uh, you can't get rid of these sponsored ads, unfortunately, uh, but you know most people will know what they're looking for. We'll have pictures uh, on our portal showing us uh, this product, okay? So that's how it works there, guys. And so why it's important to have these two-step URLs, guys, if you don't know already, is you know natural hemp oils here. Amazon actually timestamps their, their links and the URLs, things like that. That way you're not manipulating things. So when I click this here, you know, this two-step, right? Uh, this timestamp refreshes, so it looks like a, a pure organic sale and a fresh sale, right? It's not manipulated by any means, anything like that. So that's how that works there, guys. Let's go to H10 portals and continue on. So I'm gonna hit save and continue. And then we're gonna enable scheduling, right? So you can put any dates you have right here. I'll just leave this, you know, straight up right here. And then enable email collecting, of course. Anytime you can collect emails, the better, especially if you build a brand out and that's your goal in the future. The more emails you have in your customer list moving forward, the more people you can target, the more people you can send emails to to get additional sales, you know, and show them new products on your line, things like that, uh, and communicate with your customers overall, okay? Enable coupons, yes, we wanna have some kind of uh, incentive for them to buy, right? We want something to, you know, to get them over there and everything like that. So to make one of these coupons, got this super easy. Uh, you just go into your Seller Central account, right? Uh, this is the Boulder's Finest account. And all we do is go to Advertising, uh, and then we go to Promotions, and we can set up something uh, for this coupon, right? We can create a, you know, a 20% off coupon uh, using this, uh, you know, types of words or this phrase, okay? So say, imagine I went through there, guys, and I put in, you know, uh, hemp 20% off, right? Something like that, right? So I can set that up in the back end of Amazon so they can put this in on the back end of their cart on Amazon to help them to get them to convert, okay? I wouldn't suggest doing anything over 20% because Amazon doesn't like heavily discounted products and they will not let you rank up with these sales. So 20% off is kind of the, the farthest you can go with that, right? Definitely experiment with it, but 20% uh, off is probably the highest I'm gonna go with it to give you my personal opinion on it, right? So let's hit save and continue here, guys, and move on, okay? All right, guys, so next, Right, we're at the templates page, right? We're almost done. Uh, hang with me here. Uh, I know this is, you know, it's kind of a lot, but at the same time, it's the simplest this process can really get. So I've looked around at these, and my favorite is actually this minimal one uh, right here. So let's use that one uh, for an example. And you can see they took your, you know, your title here, your photo here, right? You can put your logo right here. Uh, claim coupon buttons right here. And you can see you can edit things all along here, and it's as simple as 
you literally just deleting, right? So this title's way too long, right guys? So maybe let's keep made in the USA here. Uh, let's get rid of this one ounce here and let's keep the dosage in made in USA because that's really important in this field because people don't want to buy snake oil from China, right? Uh, and then you can put a little subheader here. So maybe your main benefit, right? Go ahead and tell the customer how this product can change your life. Uh, for hemp oil itself, right? And if you have products like this, don't make any medical claims, right? That's a big no-no. Uh, and you know, you can get in trouble there. But for most products on Amazon, you don't have to worry about this, right? If you're selling a lemon squeezer, make all the claims you want. Say you can like take down the largest lemon in the world, I don't care. Uh, just don't make any medical claims or health claims like that. And obviously don't be uh, super dishonest, right? <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, so you can put your, you know, subheader here, right guys? Maybe for mine here, it is, uh, you know, you know, take your life back one drop at a time, something like that, right guys? Uh, you know, CBD oil, hemp oil, you know, helps with, you know, anxiety relief, helps with joint relief, pain relief, things like that. Obviously I can't say this will cure your pain, but I could say, you know, help take your life back one drop at a time, right? If you wanna be on the safer side, uh, you know, not make any claims, help take your life back, or even you can add, you know, may help take your life back, right? You have your price right here, your list price, uh, coupon is right here. And you have a timer right here, which is awesome for conversions, right? Especially when it gets down to, you know, the one day, the, you know, the 24 hours here, uh, you know, about this product, you can add more about this product. They have your benefits here, but this is where you're gonna start to wanna play around with copy, guys. This is where you're gonna learn, to, you know, get in that marketer's brain because you're not fixed to the Amazon SEO you gotta stay within now. Now it's all about selling. You need to get some benefits listed. You need to go check out other, you know, websites that have these same products that are selling well, right? And start to see how they're writing their copy and things like that, right? And so that's super important to start researching how your competitors are selling your same products because on, you know, online off of Amazon is a total different realm and it's all about the copy. It's all about how you present your product, how you frame your product. And this is where you're gonna wanna sell, right? Cause you're very restricted on Amazon. So sell here, they're just buying on Amazon, okay? And so you're gonna wanna get in here and, and change these bullets up uh, and look at your competition uh, and, you know, tweak these things, get better and better, you know, start to study on YouTube, other YouTube videos, how to write copy, or just kind of, you know, model your competition that's already doing super well off of Amazon, okay? And so you can see down here what other customers think. They pull your Amazon reviews here, which is awesome, right? Uh, I'm sure they're not gonna pull the one stars, so that's, uh, I appreciate that Helium 10 there. Hopefully they didn't, uh, but I'm guessing they didn't. Uh, frequently asked questions. They have some built-in ones here, guys, right? Why are you running this promotion? Can I trust you? How can I use my Amazon coupon? Does this include free shipping? All right, and you, so you can add to this and everything like that. Uh, footer right here, right? So if you get any more terms or you know services you wanna you know disclaim right here, this is where you do it. Uh, but this is where you build it out and it's super easy, guys, right? Uh, you can add things, uh, I'm sure, all the way around here. So you see action over here, right, guys? You can literally simply just drag along this. You want a different order, right? Uh, so maybe you want this timer down below, right? Maybe you want the reviews up here. Uh, right and everything like that uh, so it's very you know it's very user friendly uh, it's very easy to edit right uh, and everything like that uh, so that is it guys so let's hit save and continue uh, you know I'd love to show you more and more uh, about this you know and how I would build it uh, but you know just for time's sake and you know respecting your guys' time uh, let's just move on here because I want to show you the last final step here and so we hit confirm right and it's actually on, right? So Helium 10 is making this live. So what they're doing is just making pretty much a subdomain on Helium 10 for your product, okay? So they're hosting it for you. So you don't have to worry about a domain name or anything like that, which is super nice. So we're gonna hit copy portal URL right here. And this is where we're gonna go into Facebook, right guys? And this is where we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, ads manager. Go to campaigns here. We're gonna create a campaign and eventually put this link we just copied, you know, into a campaign here. So uh, traffic is going to be a good one. Um, conversions, you know, you don't have to set it for actual conversions. You can set it for, you know, link clicks, uh, things like that. Again, you know, Facebook ads is a beast. It's, it's you know, it's, it's, I think it's very easy, but it's just a lot to it. Again, uh, you know, my Facebook ads tutorial is on my YouTube channel. Go check that out and you know exactly how to use this link to drive traffic to it, guys. But I hope that was super helpful, right? Hopefully save you some money there. If you don't if you don't need ClickFunnels, say you're just doing Amazon stuff, right? And you already have Helium 10, or you know you, you need Amazon product research software anyways, you can save another 100 bucks a month essentially and get that tool already built in. And I wanna show you guys, you know, 
it's super important to start to drive external traffic to your Facebook ads, right? If you want to build a brand, if you want to build a long lasting e-commerce store, brand, whatever, you're going to have to learn how to do this or at least, you know, start to play around with it and learn it yourself and teach someone else how to do it uh, in your business. Okay. So this is super important. I just want to walk you through that step by step. Again, uh, comment down below if you've got any questions. Like this video if it was super helpful, guys. And of course, subscribe for more content in the future. All right, guys. Peace out.